I don't know how to tell if it's recording. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's the button there, the dot, okay. Hello, friends. It's Migraine Jen. I just took a shower, so my hair is poofy, and I should go put on some makeup, but I wanted to set up for this video first in case I feel sick soon. I wasn't supposed to start with that. Hi, it's Migraine Jen, and I wanted to make a video for you guys with my Migraine Jen Migraine Hacks. Migraine Jen Hacks. I made a... My hand is shaking, so I hope the stabilizer is working. Oh, man. Shoot, I distracted myself. I've been making a list of some of my favorite products that aren't migraine products, but I use them as migraine products. They help me during migraines, I guess. So I'm gonna bring you around my house and show you some of my favorite things for migraines. And then you guys in the comments can also share your favorite things for migraine. Migraine relief. This is like random stuff. So first, I'm gonna put on makeup and wait till I get a little more migrainey because I'm still talking really well and that's less entertaining. My arm got tired. And last but not least, I lost my list of migraine hacks, so I have to find it. You guys listen to the song and I'll be back and ready to go. It's behind the scenes, look at this. Attention to detail, I even grabbed a light and a tripod. And I'm not gonna clean up the banana bread. Look how put together I look. Fooled ya. Uh, it took like six tries, but I think I got a realistic take of that. I'm pooped. This video is gonna be really random. Let's start with some of my favorite stuff for the kitchen. Oh, wow, I have a lot to tell you guys about. It's a little overwhelming for migraine, Jen, so it's a good thing I have a list. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna scoot over. Um. I wanted to start in the kitchen because one of the most important things for migraine, Jen, is to make sure that I'm eating enough food. When I get migraines, I get really nauseous, so I don't always want to eat during them. So it's really important once I get an alert from my migraine alert dog that I eat. And if the migraine lasts a long time, sometimes migraine gen has to make food as well. So here is some stuff that I do for making food when I have a migraine. Was that good? I think I did good. Thing number one, you're gonna think I'm crazy. You're gonna think I'm crazy for a lot of things. I have two little microwave egg things. These are super nice. You add like a tablespoon or two of water and your eggs and close it up, throw it in the microwave and boom, you have eggs. This one is round so it's nice for making English muffin sandwiches and I put cheese and hot sauce and turkey slices on it. Um, oh, I do have some like food sensitivities, things I have to avoid for migraines. I'll put a card for the foods I avoid, but when I say cheese, it's not real cheese. I got a drip from my nose. Am I recording? Okay, good. I also have this one for omelets, because you can put some egg in each side and then cook it most of the way and close it up. Then you have cheese in the middle and it's so easy. And it comes with an instruction card, a one, two, three instruction card. So my grand gen can just follow the directions and um, microwave 
some eggs to eat, a nice omelet. You can put other stuff in there too, obviously. And then, when this is done, but it's too hot, and pot holders are really confusing, and oven mitts are slippery. So I use our beer brewing glove things. These, they're made of silicone, and they have hearts on them. So anytime something is too hot, I use these. They're very sticky, like gecko hands. I think this should be my thumbnail. Okay, good job, let's cross some things off. Gloves for soup. Oh yeah, for soup. Microwave some soup, use the gloves. Sticky hands, not a slippery bowl. My hands are not reliable. Reliable. Okay, let me see if I can find my cups with straws. Oh, they're up too high. I have cups with straws. They're way better than cups without straws. Cups without straws, you have to do a backwards and my brain doesn't like moving like that. And if your straw is bendy, you can do it while you're laying down. I need a stool. There was one more benefit for straws. Oh yeah, for me it tricks me into drinking more water. Maybe it's time to take a rest. I don't know. I feel pretty potsy right now. I did stand for, wow, that was like 10 minutes of standing. That was good. Okay, let's move on. If I start walking, I'll feel better. Come with me. I wanted to show you just, that's my light. I wanted to show you just a couple of dog things. Thing one, Buddy's dog bowls are raised about a foot off the ground. It's the kind of thing where it doesn't seem like it would make that much of a difference, but it makes a really big difference. Because up downs are hard for my brain. I probably already said that to you. Anyway, and two more dog things. This is Eva. Eva is Buddy's robot dog toy, but I put the cat attachment on it because he likes it. Eva's a little robot that shoots treats and runs around and wiggles and stuff and he gets really excited by it. I can remote control it from my phone. And that's a really nice touch because that way when I have a migraine, I can just sort of play with the little RC car and it's a fun way to play with Buddy when I'm not well enough to be up. Um, and then, um, oh, and I can push a treat button to give him treats. It gives him some exercise and excitement, but it also has an auto run feature where you can have it go like at nine o'clock and five o'clock every day or go automatically while you're at work and give your pet however many treats you want it to give. So. Anyway, this was a really good investment for migraine gen. One more thing, I gotta get up. Wanna see Buddy? Hi Buddy. Smooch. Headphones are the universal symbol for leave me alone. I cannot do this with only one hand, but when I take Buddy around the block, if I don't want to be bothered, I'll just wear headphones 
on my head and not even any music. I'll just um, have headphones. Then people don't try to talk to me. I can wave, hi, and keep going, haha. -ha. But he is excited that I put on the headphones. He thinks we're gonna do something. Hi, Hopeful. Yeah, thank you, Bob's good check, I know. I want to interrupt for one sec to talk about migraine, Jen, because I get questions about if migraine, Jen, is a split personality or DID or anything like that, and it isn't. It's just faster than saying me when I have a migraine, and I have a different personality when I have a migraine. I did the Harry Potter Sorting House quiz, read the card click the card. Oh, my head hurts. I think it helps me emotionally to separate myself from my disease, especially because my disease makes me act so differently from the way I usually act. It's hard to come to terms with that, and it's just so hard to explain, especially with a migraine. I don't see migraine Jen as a separate person. I see it as me with a migraine, but it's just a way of forgiving myself for being so weird and accepting the fact that I'm just different sometimes. Man, I hope that makes sense. I'm starting to get a really tense forehead. Let's keep going with this stuff. One last stop, the bathroom. I cannot believe I forgot to mention. Huel, I am obsessed with Huel, especially during migraines. This is a lifesaver. Nutritionally complete meal replacement thing. I use it to replace flour in some of my recipes, like my brownies. I make it with Huel instead of flour. Gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. It's just really gentle on my tummy and I get the protein one because my body doesn't like carbs that much. Now we're ready to go upstairs. Grab some water. Mm. Oh crap. Right when I felt like I was doing better. Um, oh, my list. Two in one shampoo. Now I do not recommend this one because the ingredients are water, sodium lauryl sulfate, and I think SLS makes your hair fall out. That's a dumb thing to put into shampoo, so I wouldn't get this one. But when you're on the edge of a migraine or it's a really mellow migraine, it's nice to do two in one instead of two different steps. Um, because it's less scalp stimulation and it's faster. Obviously, me like this, I would not, but it works sometimes when I'm less like this. When I'm like how I was five minutes ago, maybe I would. Good one. I also use dry shampoo if I want my hair clean but I don't feel well enough. Oh, first I have to tell you, in my day in the life vlog, put a card for it, I showed you guys that I sometimes, we'll get back to that, I sometimes put my hair half up and wash just the top half in the sink to have nice clean hair on top 
but then the even lower step for that is to lower energy step is dry shampoo and I don't use dry shampoo anymore I use cornstarch I literally just have cornstarch in my bathroom drawer good job my green gem hmm. so this I found a note on the back Brian is very cool Brian is my husband Brian is very cool and impressive and Brian is cool and impressive for being a very good and very clever teacher. Love, Migraine Jen. P.S. I felt it earlier and forgot to say it, so make sure I say it. That's why. Okay. Where the heck was I? Slinky hair ties. I don't ever have them on my wrist because they're so annoying on your wrist. But this feels better on your head if you have to have a ponytail all day, like for a hike. And this is nice and I put it in a hat so I can make it nice and loose. One, one. Do slinkies still exist? Flosser thing. I don't think these do as good of a job as doing string on your fingers, but if I have a migraine and I don't feel like I can do it with my fingers, then um, Sometimes I can use a flosser and still be able to floss. I have clear thoughts in my head, but my face doesn't want to move. Let's get a move on. Next thing, shot glass. I keep it next to my sink for rinsing my mouth after I brush my teeth so I don't have to tilt my head. My head doesn't like position changes and um, mine has boobs. Once I break it, then I just buy another one with boobs, but a different bikini. My last one was pink boobs, pink bikini on boobs with polka dots. This one is pirates. Dun, 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 dun. Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. Let me get some water. Oh, that's better. If I don't feel up for brushing my teeth, brushing my teeth, ew. No, I have to brush my teeth. Washing my face, then I use these makeup remover wipes. They're cleansing towelettes that take off your makeup, but then you also don't really have to wash it off. That way, at least I can feel clean going to bed even without washing my face. There was one more thing. Oh yeah, then I put lotion on my face. That's not important for you to know though. I might sneeze. <coughs> Ow. This guy, oh and this. I have a, whoo, there's in my hair in my face. Um, I have a measuring cup at the bathtub so I can measure some Epsom salts into here and do foot soaks. I really like baths, but 
I have a hard time with um, temperature changes, like my whole body getting all hot and cold and stuff. So migraine gen, it's just a lot to do the whole bath thing. Foot soaks though feel really good if I have some time to relax. Um, I guess that's it. Okay, I'll check my list. Dun, dun, dun. Got it, got it, got it. Three more random things, and then we're done. Come with me. I'm like playing create a tripod with this chair here. I left my tripod upstairs and I don't want to go back up, but I'm actually feeling pretty good right now. Three more random things. One, paint by number. Paint by number is something that I started doing back during my seizure times when I was on to Pyramate and it was making me have these seizure episodes. I felt like I couldn't really have a hobby anymore or I didn't have any like way to creatively express. So this is nice because it gives you all the instructions. The colors are numbered. It's very satisfying to work on your art piece and it's completely mindless. Mindless. Um, but you have to focus enough that I don't know how to say um, it's still a fun activity that makes the time go by when you're not feeling that good and you end up making something very beautiful that you can't probably paint anyway if you're not talented like me. Art is not my forte, but I love to paint even though I'm bad at it. Speaking of things I love to do even though I'm bad at it, thing number two, calligraphy or brush lettering. I have a couple sets of pens that I bought online. I don't know what I'm doing. I also have this book and a couple other books that are workbooks. This one is lettering affirmations for living with love. They have stuff like this where you can trace or like this where you trace but I extended my own on the sides or you trace and then try it by yourself. Oh, Buddy is having a nightmare. Let's help Buddy. Buddy, are you okay, honey? Buddy, you okay, Pops? My green Jen's hands get very veiny. But if I pick them up, goes away almost immediately. Handsome boy. Mission accomplished. Now, if you want to do the brush lettering, I recommend a top spiral thing so it doesn't get in the way of your hands. Also, um, if, if it's a workbook, Pay attention to the paper type because some papers, I guess, are like bad for your brush pens. So make sure it's paper that's for brush pens if you're going to do it in the workbook instead of tracing or doing it in a separate book. You can buy books of just the tracing paper too or just lined paper. When I said three things, I actually had four things. I'm not going to bring you to the other ones. First one, Roomba. Oh, well, actually, now we're on three. Number three, the Roomba. We got a Roomba with a mop on Black Friday because, is this crooked? 
Black Friday is a good idea because it's expensive. So like buy an old model on Black Friday so it's cheap. And then what's the last one? Alexa. Never mind. I use her all the time for things like setting timers to remind me, like when I put Buddy outside, I say, hey you, I'm not going to say her name again, set the timer to let Buddy in, and she has an automatic 10 minute timer that I set up before, so she'll say, okay, I will remind you to let Buddy in in 10 minutes, and that way... If I forget that he went outside and then I go upstairs by accident, then I won't accidentally leave him outside. Or if I do laundry, or if I'm, I don't know, other stuff on timers. Also to ask what time it is or ask how the weather is outside so I know if I need a sweater if we're going to go somewhere. That saves me a lot of walking. You know what I mean. And when we got ours, it was only like $20. So worth it, even though she's not the brightest, like my green gen. Wow, sun is bright over here. All right, well, guys, I hope that these migraine hacks helped you out or gave you some ideas for uh, ways you can manage your migraines better. If there's things you want to add to the list. There's got to be things to add to this list. Please put them in the comments. I love being able to scroll at the bottom of these videos and get hints and tips from you guys. I recognize the possibility that other people might be doing that too. <gasps> buddy! Buddy, come here, come! Say goodbye to Buddy too. Yeah, Buddy! You are so Oh, flew. What's the problem? Good check, bud. That's a migraine alert. Bye, guys.